Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you to replace the fan and motor assembly on this Fisher Pico dryer. We need a few different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. The motor rotates the drum inside the dryer, and it also circulates the air. If the motor fails, the drum may not rotate and the clothes may not dry. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the dryer. Additionally, you'll be working around sharp metal edges, so proceed with caution. The first thing that we'll do is we'll open up the lid of the dryer and we'll lift it straight up to remove it and we'll set it aside. With the lid removed, we'll now remove the two screw covers and the two screws. Ours is missing the screw cover on the other side. Now with the two screws removed, we can lift up the top cover and disconnect this electrical plug and remove the wire from the retainer. With the wire disconnected, we can now depress the locking tabs and push these through the cabinet of the dryer. You can now lift off the top cover and set it aside. Next, we'll remove the front panel of the dryer. To do this, start by removing the two Phillips screws on the front. With the screws removed, you can now pull out and forward to release the front panel. Tilt the front panel towards you, then rotate it out to access the ground wire and pull it off to remove it. We can now set the front panel aside. The motor control module is located in the bottom left corner. We'll want to start by removing the top cover. To do that, depress this locking tab, lift up, and then pull it forward to remove. Now follow this wire and disconnect the electrical plug. Then disconnect the brown one next to it, followed by the two ground wires at the bottom. With everything free, we can now rotate the drum and chassis assembly outside of the cabinet of the dryer. Grab the sides while pulling towards you. Continue to lower the drum and chassis assembly down while making sure that it's not getting caught on anything on the inside of the cabinet. With the drum and chassis assembly now sitting on the floor, we'll now need to lift up on it and pull it out of the cabinet. With the two pieces separated, we'll now set the cabinet aside so we can work on the drum and chassis assembly. With the drum and chassis assembly removed from the dryer, the first thing that we'll do is remove the idler pulley. To remove the idler pulley, insert a flat blade screwdriver into this slot. We need to remove some of the tension off of it so we can lift it up. And over this bracket, then we'll do the same thing with the bottom side. We push up and lift it out of the bracket. And remove the idler pulley from the dryer. Now cut this zip tie. Then remove the wire from the retainer. Now remove the two screws on the motor mounting clamps. With the screws removed, you can pivot down on the clamp and lift it out to remove it. Do the same thing on the other side. Now grab the fan housing and rotate it to the side and pull out to remove. You can now grab onto the motor and pull it out to remove it. If you have a bad fan and motor assembly and need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on the dryer to make sure you get the correct part. To install the motor, align the two grooves on each end of the motor with the two grooves on the housing of the dryer. Then push into place. Make sure that the wires are facing down. 
Now install one of the motor clamps to hold the motor in place. Insert the tab into the slot, rotate up, and reinstall the screw. With the motor held in place, we'll now reinstall the fan housing. We'll first insert it into these tabs on the side, and then rotate it back into place. Then reinstall the other motor clamp by inserting it into the slot, rotating it down, and reinstalling the screw. Now tuck the wire back into the retainer and use a zip tie to secure it to the frame. Now we'll grab the belt and put on the motor shaft before reinstalling the idler pulleys. Before installing the idler pulleys, first make sure your belt is aligned on the drum and on the shaft on the motor. What we'll be doing is aligning this notch on the bracket on both sides. Make sure that the spring and the pin are aligned and slightly compress it. Hook the bracket on the bottom first. With the bottom of the bracket locked in place, we can now push the top while compressing the spring until it locks back in place. Now we can install the drum and chassis assembly back into the cabinet, align this circular notch with the circular pieces on the bottom, lift and set in place. Then lift up and rotate back in place. Next, reconnect the two electrical plugs. followed by the two ground wires, followed by the cover. Now reinstall the front panel by first installing the ground wire. Align these two notches with the two notches here. Use your foot to hold the bottom of the panel in place while bending out the top edges. Align the notches on the panel while pushing till it locks in place. Followed by the two mounting screws. Now reinstall the top cover by inserting the two tabs through the openings, pulling on them to snap them in place. Then reinstall the electrical plug, then reinsert it back into the retainer. Now lower the top cover back down and align the edges while pushing down. Then reinstall the two screws, followed by the screw covers. With everything put back together, plug the dryer back in and test it out to make sure that everything's working properly. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.